Jesus at the center of it all. Jesus at the center of it all. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus at the center. You see, when things don't seem to go my way, that's when I lift up my hands and pray. And every time I lift up my hands and pray, things feel better and things look better. Uh, things feel better and things look better. They feel better because the Lord lifts up that burden. And then they look better because God gives me ideas how to overcome. When I have needs and I have situations and I have challenges... And I know that I need the favor of God to kind of take me through that. I, I pray and I praise, I pray and I praise, I pray and I praise. And one of the first things that praise does is that it lifts the burden, the anxiety, the stress. It comes and it lifts it up. And when it lifts it up, it opens my eyes. And then it gives me ideas. Then it gives me direction. Then it gives me guidance. And it lets me know and see what I need to do to get to the next step. Okay, God bless you. We just want to take this time to thank you for tuning in to our YouTube. And we just want to encourage you to continue to connect with us here on YouTube. And we also want to encourage you to tune in to our podcast. This Sunday morning, we just got out of a powerful service. Pastor David spoke about just breaking down walls, the walls that are coming down in our lives so that we can go receive everything that God has for us. And I'm here to let you know that God has a great plan for your life. And there may be walls in your life, but going to God, going to God, God has all the answers and he wants walls to come down because he wants to do great things in your life. But once again, we just thank you for tuning in. Get online, continue to connect with us on our website. And I'm just here to let you know we thank you for tuning in. We love you. We're praying for you. Hope to see you soon. God bless you. When I see one. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking in my mind, this, this dude here on cocaine, high power, smoking, saying that Jesus could change my life. Like, what is this? Ah, oh, I know what he's doing. He wants to get information, find out if I know he's on the lista. Somehow I slip, you know, show my hand. I, I'll play that. Okay, he took a play that game. I called him. Okay, come here, Eddie. Come here, sir. And he's all, he's all, what is it? I said, come here, fool. So uh, Jesus could change my life. And he begins to preach. And he goes, hey, Conejo, look, at, I know who you are. I know you got a, a big rep and all that stuff, but check, you got to be tired. That's all I do, become the pen all these years. You know it's drama. You know the politics, Conejo. And I'm looking at this dude. At first, I'm mad, like, how dare you talk to me? Like, I'm going to kill you, fool. You know, you think, oh, ignorant. But something about he, what he was saying, you know, Jesus could change your life. And then he's going on and on. He's saying, he'll set you free, Conejo. I'm thinking, I'll set you free. <laughs> Rack these bars. You're going home, dude. But something happened. Where? In a dark and a dangerous and a violent and a twisted and a perverted place. A place of instant death. Something is happening. What is happening? The word of God is going forth. God is no respecter of syndicates, cartels, mafias, all that nonsense. When God wants to show up, he'll show up and flex his mighty muscles. Here in Raleigh rejoicing in the Lord and what God is doing, and he's been doing it all over the world. And I thank God that the anointing just as strong as here and ever with Pastor David and Sister Gina. We had a great time tonight. God moved by his spirit and God was glorified, amen. And the enemy was exposed as the liar that he is and souls were saved. Uh, there was a tremendous move of God and the vision, the unique vision of this ministry went forth in a great and a real and a positive way. Next to me is my lovely wife, Anna. And she uh, was here and this turning to quite a preacher here. But we always enjoy coming to Broadway. Amen? God bless you. We love you. Anna, you want to say something? We love you, Victory Outreach, Broadway, and see you next time. God bless.